Hi, it's um, Tuesday 12th of June 2012. Um, this is the ES 2000 tick chart. One second, let me just take my um, trade stuff off. Okay, so um, just clean the chart up a little. Um, so yesterday we had a big downtrend, so I was expecting kind of range-bound action today. Um, these are all UK times. I just want to show you the times here in this black box of the, the current bar. So we opened up, um, had a little rally to start with into these highs here. And made a kind of a double top there, which I've marked. We then had kind of a, a larger double top, and I considered taking that, but but didn't because of the overlapping bars. Um, didn't like that. We then had another test and a failure. Should have taken that one, um, but didn't. Again, we then had a, a long off this low here. That that's not a setup. I'm just kind of pointing that out. And we came up again to this area here. I'm now in in the in the time zone that I do not trade uh, between, say, noon London time and 2:30, which is the U.S. Open. I don't uh, place any trades. So um, that trade there was at 10 past two, which is 20 minutes before the U.S. Open. So I wouldn't have traded that. I kind of would have worked for a scalp. Um, so here we are. Let's just go to the US Open. So this is the, the Open here. This line here is the US Open. And I'll take you to my first trade. So very range bound action. Very, you know, it's just waffling around, not doing anything at all, especially. So I sat on my hands for quite a while and then saw that we came up to test the range top again. And we closed on the low on this candle here and um, I did consider taking that but w as I was thinking about clicking my mouse and getting the order the, the candle started looking like this so I kind of missed it um, have to be very very quick with these tick charts sometimes it will say there's a thousand ticks left and then three seconds later the, the chart the candles formed and the, the market's moving so I missed that one um, which would have been good I could perhaps have got in on that one anyway because the market's just coming down. Um, so I missed that trade. I was then looking for a pullback to short. I was not interested in buying these lows down here. Um, so what I did do is so we've got a kind of a, a, an H1 pullback here to the EMA. I, I didn't take that because it's not as it's not a two-legged pullback. But I considered this to be a two-legged pullback because we had an equal low here. Let me get the mouse. You can see that line there is is an equal double bottom. So I, I treated this as an as an L2 at the EMA, um, and got filled. And my target was at nine to nine and a half. The market traded my target, but didn't fill me, so I moved my stop to break even plus one, and then got stopped out for break even plus one, basically. Um, we then started to bottom out on this line here to the tick, actually, which is funny. I drew this line at the open and these closes, and we touched it to the tick at 99, and moved quite strongly upwards. Um, Perhaps should have gone long here at 33, sorry, 03 and a quarter. Um, because you pull back to the EMA, pushed up, breaking these highs, and there's plenty of room to the top of the range. So that would have been a good entry there, which I missed. But the market was being a nice market. It came back to the trend line and the EMA and gave me another chance. Uh, but I missed that as well because it wasn't technically a great H2. So I'm thinking to myself, you know, if the market looks like it's making a a, a good setup, then take it. Um, and then we went to the top of the range. Uh, broke the top of the range, so I missed that as well. So at this point of the game, I'm plus one. 
still watching and waiting. And I'm thinking to myself at this point, we've come back, we've tested the, the almost the top of the range. Um, I should have gone long there at ten and a half, and taken two points profit there. I mean that that was the setup right there. Um, but I, I was being too perfect and looking for a perfect looking H2. I guess not a bad thing, but it does cause you to miss moves and then take a crappy trade. So this one here, we've got an H1 here. Didn't take that because it wasn't um, at the EMA, wasn't at the trend line. And then we came to here. I thought, well, this is a great looking setup. We've come back. We've tried to push up once. We're coming back to the EMA and the trend line. And I got long at 12 and a half. I uh, got ticked in there and this little swing high uh, long and then the market collapsed. Uh, I did actually move my stop up beneath this green candle and um, I decided to take a smaller loss. So I saved myself two ticks by moving my stop up because the initial stop was eight ticks. Um, we then formed a double bottom here also at the top of the range. So I went long again here. Uh, and then got stopped out beneath this candle here. So after these two stop outs, I thought, well, I'm not in sync with the market, obviously, and I was just going to stop for the day. And um, we've just been ranging and uh, not looking great. Here's a five minute chart. Um, yeah, we've just been range bound here. So, so I could have, could have participated in this move here. I mean, on the, it looks good on the five minute as well. Got this major trend reversal here on, on bar what that bar is. Um, could have got a pullback along here, another one there. So market was very tradable on the five minute today um, and, and the 2000 tick, but um, didn't work for me. So one winner and uh, two losers for today. Um, I think um, in future, uh, you know, if the market is moving strongly like it did here, um, I think it's just get on board and um, the momentum strong pulling back it's going to push again so that's it for this video uh, see you next time